Hey guys, uh, today's a video on the 4090 Founders Edition. I was not going to make this unboxing video simply because a lot of people did it already. But from the video I made the other day, I want to clear up some stuff. I made a video about the cables, about this adapter that people tend to hate on right now. Uh, and from the comments, I could tell some folks um, really have no idea what they're talking about and just jumped on the bandwagon. Okay, and some folks bring up legitimate points. Okay. So we're just gonna go over the card real quick. This is the 4090 Founders Edition packaging. It is quite large. It also uses um, kind of minimal cardboard to help the planet, which is great. Uh, the packaging is very mature. The product is very maturely designed. And once it pops open like this inside, you get the 4090. Okay, you've probably seen that. So if you've seen this and you're watching this video, thank you for watching. And I'm going to treat you to a nice little rant after this. Okay. So you get a cardboard cover. Inside is now the infamous adapter. All right. That everybody's hating on. And that's all you get in the box. So it's a great box. You can save it. I would say it's much better than the kind of uh, sleeve plus box we get. Kind of like a pack of cookies. Right. Pack of Oreos that we're getting with the other AIBs. I'm hoping that. At these price points, they will kind of improve their packaging, right? Something a little more special would be nice, like the founders here. Now, looking at the 4090, you can see that, let me get this straight here. You can see that uh, it's thicker than previous founders. It is now a full three slaughter, not 2.5. You'll notice the fan has increased in size to deal with the additional heat it's going to generate. And I want to stop here. And just talk about this connector for a second that I made a whole video on. I'm going to bring here a 3090Ti. Okay. And right away, I'm going to show you it's the exact same connector. Okay. And when you buy a 3090Ti, you get an adapter that's going to look very familiar to some of you guys. It is a 3 to 8 pin. Okay. Now, I understand a lot of folks, this is the first time you're seeing this type of connector because you may not have had a 30 series Founders Edition card. They were hard to get, and in some countries, you couldn't even get them. So I totally understand that a lot of folks don't have much experience with the 12 pin, okay? This being the 12 pin. This is the adapter that came with a lot of the 30 series cards, okay? Now, if you don't know how this pin works, how this pinout works, I'm gonna show you on a cable mod cable. Now, the way this pinout goes is there are there is a row of 12 volts and there is a row of ground. Okay? Now, a traditional 8 pin has three ground, three 12 volt, two cents. So this is from a ROG PSU or Seasonic PSU. So it may not look like your PSU, but you can see we have three 12 volts on each side going into a row of 12 volts and three grounds going into a row of grounds. So in terms of the drawing power part, it hasn't changed. The 3080s and the other cards, I think the 70 had it like this, but the 80s and 90s had it rotated the other way. So I'm a, on the video, I'm gonna show you how it looks on my computer that has two 90s. It's rotated like this, and when you slide it in, there's less chance of bending here, simply because this is a better position to slot the connector in than like this. Um, the car 4090 cards, they're big, you know, some of the IBs are even taller than the founders. So a lot of folks are running into side door issues or, you know, just issues getting it in their case. And another thing with that is a lot of people have dynamics and it's not almost not a coincidence that the two people that broke theirs are running dynamics. Reason being is the dynamic is a great case. I have one here, but this width right here is not that wide. So if I put this, like I'm just right here, probably seeing the video even, I'm gonna touch the glass with that connector, okay? A lot of cases, not just the dynamic will have that issue, but a lot of cases also will not have that issue, okay? Simply because the dynamic, for people who used to water cool a lot or are into water cooling, you know this terminal is a problem with this cases sometimes. Like this one, this old KPE from many years ago is a no-go. OK, 
Okay, same concept. So when it comes down to it, I'm sure there will be more videos on this adapter from other YouTubers. There will be more whole things about it melting, failing, etc. And I'm sure somebody's going to try to get it to melt on purpose. And if you really want to get this thing to melt, it's really simple. Pop the pin out, pull the cord, push it halfway in, stick it in the card. It will melt. It's that simple. You don't need to draw 600 watts to melt plastic. If you guys don't believe me, Google 8-pin melt, 6-pin melt, SATA pin melted, Molex melted. Okay. If there any time you have a loose connector that touches the plastic, it's going to melt. So another thing people have brought up is we're drawing double the power than before. And I'm going to show you what they mean by that. Earlier, I talked about this cable, right? So you'll see here, this is 14090. We have a whole crap ton of cables here. And you'll notice that a lot of the 12 volts are doubled into one wire. So yes, we are drawing twice the voltage than before. But you guys have to remember, this came with, a eight, with three 8-pin adapter. The 3090 Ti. AIB variants drew anywhere all the way up to 480 watts, some 500 watts, I think. Maybe the Hoff was like 500. And I think the Kingpin was 500 off the top of my head. So a lot of the 4090s, they're capped at like 520, including the Supreme X, et cetera. Those are capped at 520. The Strix goes to 600. So if you really think about it under normal gaming load, overclocked even, it is a similar power envelope between the two cards. But you will not see a single article or YouTuber talking about this bringing up the fact that it's the same connector. Why? Because it's not sensationalism and it doesn't generate clicks. A little information is very dangerous if you take it and run. So with that said, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, for anybody getting these cards, I definitely feel the cable mod cable is is you know it uses thicker wire than the, the adapters, so it's definitely a safer bet. Um, they also look better, and you know when you have to clump four onto here, there's a lot of stress on this cable. If you add four PC, eight pin PCIe connectors to it, right, it's going to naturally have stress. So it sucks. You may have to go out and buy a new PSU to not deal with the adapter or spend money on a cable mod cable to not deal with that issue. I hope in video will hand out 90 degree adapters that would solve the problem for a lot of folks. But with that said, thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.